You're watching Two Works For You at 10. Now at 10, an explosive investigation into allegations that some University of Tulsa athletes are receiving preferential treatment. Two Works For You Chief Investigator Katie Wisely digs into the issue for months and shows us what she uncovered only on two. Spread across more than 200 acres, founded in 1894, known as the Golden Hurricane. Every day was kind of its own animal. The University of Tulsa, a small private college with boosting athletic programs. But a former campus security officer who worked at the university for more than seven years says administrators are involved in a parking ticket fixing scandal involving some of the school's top athletic programs. It was a spoken policy that you don't take any action against any athlete. The former security officer who doesn't want to show his face provided documents he says shows that some athletes, including football players, are not to be cited for parking violations or be towed. These are the lists which Two Works For You obtained. The officer doesn't have this list in the field. Uh, they call in the tag or the permit number and that's checked by the dispatcher against the tow off list and the football list. For example, and in some cases, an athlete, you may be in the process of towing their vehicle. They would, in some cases, walk out and hand you a phone that had the director of security on the other side of the phone. I think athletes might get towed more than anybody else does because they're always parking in bad places for practice time. We reached out to the university. They disagreed with the security officer's assessment, explaining once a student receives five or more citations during one academic year, they are deemed a habitual offender. After that, any subsequent citations land students on the tow warning list, which means they are subject to having their vehicle towed. After a tow warning has been issued, those students are moved to the tow off list, which means their vehicle could be towed at any time. However, the former security officer disagrees. In most cases, you were told not to tow a vehicle or uh, not to write a ticket. From the lists provided to Two Works For You, some athletes had 22 citations, three toes, 24 citations, four toes, and 15 citations and one toe. We generally weren't allowed to tow an athlete, uh, even if they had a ton of violations. This list that Two Works For You obtained was compiled in the 2012-2013 school year. You can see it has a toe off column, which has a yes next to 20 players' names. Our investigation revealed in 2017 there were 148 vehicles impounded. We asked TU if there is a way to tell what students have received parking tickets. They said there is no way to tell if a student is involved in athletics. Two Works For You also asked how many tickets have been dismissed over the past year and how many of those belonged to athletes. But they tell us they don't track that information. TU says they ticket and tow every student the same, sports or no sports. Just having the, a list of vehicles that need towed is standard. We should have that. Um, having a list of athletes that should or should not be towed is a completely different story. Those responses came from Joe Timmons, head of campus security. The man officers claim shows preferential treatment toward athletes. Another former security officer who only agreed to speak with us over the phone says the problem is an internal one. A supervisor calls the chief, who is Joe Timmons, who wind up letting the team player go. That officer was hired by the university in 2011 and left the department for a different job. Two Works For You asked the university if there were lists compiled for other sports, such as tennis or softball. They said coaches from other sports have never requested such a list. At least one student says if the allegations are true, then students are getting a raw deal. They have to follow the rules just like everybody else and they'll get penalized if they break them too. A few months after this former security officer approached Two Works For You, he was suspended and ultimately fired. The university sent him this letter, stating his actions were meant to undermine the university and its security department. According to the letter, the school determined the former officer attempted to obtain confidential information, both internally and externally. The letter even mentions Two Works For You, maintaining the confidentiality of records, information, and data, a phrase from part of the university's code of conduct. But this former security officer stands by his story. 
Two Works for You requested multiple interviews with the head of security and the university president, but our requests were denied. The university says that they've looked into our concerns but have found no reason to initiate an investigation. We also reached out to multiple football players who tell us that they weren't allowed to speak with us unless university approval. It is important to note that all of our questions were answered via email with the university. Brian, Karen. All right, thank you, Katie. As part of our investigation, Two Works For You also reached out to other colleges and universities across the state to see if they have any lists like the ones Katie mentions. One of them reached back out to us saying that they don't have anything like this. In the past, universities across the country have been disciplined by the NCAA for giving special treatment to athletes.